Hey folks, this is Justin from the Lee Ninus Knives and Gear channel, and this is the review and tabletop portion of this video. You've already watched the uh, testing footage of the half-breed blades. This is the LBF Model 1. That stands for Large Bush Folder Model 1, and this one is in the uh, green uh, color. And I just want to first and foremost show you all what the presentation uh, box here looks like that you will get with uh, this knife. And Half-Breed Blades does a really fantastic job of getting you, you know, just really nice packaging for all their, uh, their tools and implements and blades. So it's definitely something nice to either gift someone or just store it away for yourself. And when you open it up, there's uh, some information in here. Uh, you get a, a morale patch, a sticker, and some other uh, cards of information, a contact card, basic specification card, and a warranty information card. Now, we'll go ahead and just talk briefly about the warranty for the folding knife. And there are two circumstances which half-breed blades uh, will not cover this knife. Uh, the first is uh, throwing damage, which uh, most major... Uh, knife companies out there don't cover that unless it's a knife that is uh, you know, made specifically for throwing. Uh, for example, Cold Steel, they make a lot of knives that are designed to throw, uh, you know, just for recreational use or uh, to throw competitively. Um, most of them just really do not, and Half Breed Blades is one that does not either, and I do not blame them for that uh, one bit. This, simply put, this is just not a throwing knife. Uh, the second thing they don't cover is uh, batoning. And that's understandable, being a folding knife. Now, some uh, other companies out there may cover that for a folding knife, but I'll also say uh, that's also going to be pretty rare as well. But, you know, if that's something you want to do, uh, do it at your own peril. This being a liner lock that this knife may or may not be able to handle that type of abuse. Uh, personally, when I do batoning, I, I tend to stick with fixed blades. That's just usually... If I'm carrying one in the woods, that is what I'm going to use. Now, this being a bush type knife, some folks may expect to be able to baton with it, but I just want to let everyone out there know that if you break the knife uh, with that, that it would not be covered under their warranty. So again, that is, uh, you know, half breed blades uh, choice. So, you know, I leave it up to the end user if they, you know, like that or not, like it or leave it. But again, when I baton, I use mostly uh, fixed blade type knives. So as for the actual review, um, I'm just going to start with uh, some specifications of the knife. Uh, really fantastic blade steel. Uh, super sharp S35VN. Uh, really, really <laughs> uh, super uh, good slicer. Interesting overall uh, length of this knife. The blade is just over four inches long. The handle is around five and a half inches. So that might throw some people off having a larger handle. I'm sorry, a, a longer handle than a blade, but um, hey, it, it works with this uh, particular knife. I got a lot of good chopping done with it. Uh, the blade thickness, it is uh, close to a quarter inch thick, so pretty big, beefy, hefty uh, blade for what you get here. Just overall, just obviously just a very beefy folding knife. It has that flipper function but as for the uh the handle uh that is a uh, titanium scales and titanium liner the uh pommel there is a d2 so pretty heavy duty um, glass breaker on the end that's not something i really tried out but i did do a lot of chopping and cutting with this knife and it does have thumb studs the pocket clip is not reversible, but you can do tip up or tip down carry, which is nice. And got a pretty good size lanyard hole on there as well. And to me, this is a very attractive knife. I, I certainly love the way it looks. It's got that awesome uh, fuller on the blade there. And I was talking about the blade still being such a sharp uh, knife. That's also because of the grind. It's a nice hollow grind on that blade. Hopefully that'll come in. There we go. Yeah, so definitely a good uh, slicer, a good chopper. Got some jimping on the uh, the spine blade and then on the handle, the knife where your thumb would rest and then the pommel. Also on the back end uh, where your hand would, on your hand stop 
on the pommel there. And I will say, as for um, overall comfort and usage, uh, I got a little bit of a hot spot back here. I think it's just because this knife is, it's the scales, um, since they're a steel based and not a G10 or a micarta, a little bit of a hot spot chopping, but I was able to hold on really well to this uh, with what I was doing. And um, wow, just a lot of heft to this. Uh, the one thing that kind of throws this knife off for me is the weight. And that's something I definitely wanted to spend just a few moments on is uh, overall this one is close uh, to a, a pound. It's around 16 ounces. Uh, so not only is it big, thick, and beefy, it's, it's you know, got some weight to it. Uh, for example, um, me personally, when I carry a folding knife, I carry something a little bit more lightweight. Uh, for example, I have the Spyderco uh, Endura 4. And this one weighs in around four ounces. Now, these knives are going to, both of these are going to have different abilities. Obviously, the large bush folder uh, can do more uh, chopping, heavy-duty tasks like that. Obviously, this Endura is not a chopping knife. It just doesn't even have the capability nor, nor the weight, um, but it's a good cutter slicer, and that's really what I'm looking for in a folding knife. So I just wanted to kind of present that information out there. So there's a lot of weight to this knife, but again, with that uh, heft and the weight, uh, you certainly can get uh, some pretty good swings in there, which I was able to. So the knife did perform. It did survive the tests, uh, even with that uh, liner lock on there, which in my opinion, that's a little bit thin for a liner lock, but it definitely did hold the knife. It held the blade steady. The knife still functions, still works. But um, again, uh, you would not be covered under warranty for batoning with this knife, so keep that in mind. But it did perform uh, slicing, cutting, chopping tests uh, very well. Like I said, a little bit of a hot spot down here towards the pommel where the handle grooves back. About right there. But it did perform very good. And uh, my final thoughts on this knife. Now, we'll go ahead and say... Again, uh, when it comes to uh, folding knives and fixed blades, I'm one of those type guys. I carry a folding knife, um, just you know, basic purposes, uh, opening boxes, things like that, everyday tasks. And when I go out into the woods, I usually carry a fixed blade. Now, would this be something that I would use? Now, I didn't. I haven't really carried this knife nor taken it deep into the woods. Um, I've just been kind of just working, you know, heavy duty testing with this just to see how it would perform. Um, as for me, I, I personally haven't found a, a place for this knife, um, either everyday carry or in the woods use yet. And that's just for several reasons. I think for everyday carry, uh, some folks out there would enjoy this knife. Number one, this is just, again, it's just a very attractive knife. This looks awesome. But for me, it's just too heavy. Uh, that may not bother some folks or they may throw it in uh, a go bag or something like that. And, and that's fine. Now, something that would uh, attract me to carrying this, say, either uh, possibly deep woods, would be uh, like a, a pouch or something like that, uh, like a Molly adaptable type, uh, like a Cordura pouch, fabric pouch, that I could easily, you know, just get this, uh, take this in and out of on a backpack or something like that. Just make it more portable. And then I could see really working with this in the deep woods. Uh, but again, usually uh, when I go out and do things like that, I'm carrying a, a fixed blade with me just so I can baton with it. Now, perhaps if they could rate this knife to uh, be able to safely uh, baton with it and that be covered under warranty if there was anything, then that may be something that I would definitely be more attracted to as well. But uh, overall, I think it's a pretty awesome knife. I mean, it certainly was a lot of fun to work with and it did perform very well. And I think some folks out there uh, would really enjoy uh, carrying and using this on a day-to-day, -day, but uh, it's just not exactly for me. Just uh, quite large and hefty. I think the only other knife, uh, the only other folding knife I used or carried that quite was this uh, large was the uh, uh, Spartan by Cold Steel. And uh, I, I think I ended up selling that Spartan. It just, it ended up just not being for me. But um, there's some folks out there who also might want to carry this into the deep woods. But again, I would recommend uh, some sort of pouch just to make this more portable. So that's just my thoughts, folks. If y'all enjoyed the video, uh, please 
give me a thumbs up. If you could drop a comment, I'd love to read that and get back with you on it. And also, if you're not a subscriber, hey, uh, please do that as well so you'll be notified of future uploads.